This episode of Nerdist News is sponsored by Borderlands 3. The Power Rangers movie reboot is getting rebooted. Grab your morpher and get ready to fire up your amp for some sick guitar riffs because it appears a new Power Rangers film is in the works again. It's been two years since the Power Rangers hit the big screen with their cinematic reboot and fans have been wondering when the next flick would be a go-go and, more importantly, what form the film will take. Well, it looks like we finally got our first real information about their next theatrical appearance, all thanks to the Red Ranger himself, at least one of the Red Rangers, and if you were a fan of the 2017 reboot, we might have some bad news for you. But first, a little history lesson. Now, in case you've been living under a rock, it was 1993 when Zordon first put out the call on American televisions for some teenagers with attitude. Got a lot of responses. Based on and using footage from the long-running Japanese Super Sentai series, the Power Rangers found great success worldwide. There have been 26 seasons across 20 different themed series that brought the Power Rangers across time and to such exotic and imaginative locations as post-apocalyptic cities, outer space, and... Southern California. So it was no surprise that such a successful franchise would spawn a couple of big screen outings. Using the cast and characters from the US TV show universe, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie came out in 1995 and introduced the world to Ivan Ooze while earning a respectable box office take home. However, when its follow-up Turbo pulled in less than $10 million, it appeared the Power Rangers cinematic dreams were to be put in a space dumpster for 10,000 years. So you can imagine how some Ranger fans were delighted and others disappointed when it was announced that the Mighty Morphers would be back on the big screen with the 2017 film, this time featuring a reimagined mythos and an all-new team of heroes with new suits, new zords, a new Zordon, played by Brian Cranston, who voiced one of the original series villains, along with a new version of Rita Repulsa, played by Elizabeth Banks, who is having the time of her life in the role. Now, while the film was not a flop, it did fall well short of expectations. Though it had decent word of mouth and has become something of a cult hit in its own right over the last two years, it has left fans waiting for any word or news on a sequel, especially since Tommy Oliver as the Green Ranger was teased in a post credit scene. And it looks like those fans finally got their answer in a recent Reddit AMA, Ask Me Anything for those that don't know, 2017's Red Ranger Dacre Montgomery, who recently appeared as Billy Hargrove in Stranger Things 3, was asked about whether more Power Rangers were in the pipeline, and he had this to say. I think there is a movie in the works, but it's not with me in the cast, so yes, but not with us. Honestly, it's not shocking to see that there is a new film in the works. Toy company Hasbro recently bought the franchise and the toy rights from longtime owner Saban Properties back in 2018. While Power Rangers toys have always been a lucrative business, it seems like Hasbro may have bigger plans. Since there is a new Power Rangers film in the works, the big question on fans' minds is what form the film will take. Could it be a full reboot with a new cast exploring the origins of the Power Rangers, or can it be something along the lines of the different Power Rangers series that sometimes builds off of previous entries into the canon and even have characters meet and cross over. This is all just speculation, but Hasbro has been very open about how it wants to create a shared cinematic toy universe over the last few years, combining franchises like Transformers, G.I. Joe, Mask, and the like, and having Power Rangers as one of its cornerstones could be the final brick needed to build that house, but again, just speculation. Ultimately, it's doubtful that Hasbro will tie this into the past iteration of the Power Rangers in any meaningful way. While there is a devoted fan base to the beloved TV series, Hasbro will most likely want to use the IP to gain a new audience, and sadly, the campiness of the OG show may hamper that. Nonetheless, we will have to wait for more updates from Hasbro to find out what they decide to do. But what do you folks think? Which Power Rangers series is your favorite? Who is the best ranger of all time? And who else got in trouble for playing Power Rangers on the playground as a kid? Aaron did! Definitely me. Let's discuss. Thanks again to Borderlands 3 for sponsoring today's episode. The original shooter looter is back and bigger than ever. With four all-new vault hunters and over one billion guns, it's time to lock, load, and loot. Pre-order Borderlands 3 now so that you can play when it drops on Xbox One, PS4, or PC on September 13th. Let's make some mayhem!